So here we are guys, we're out on the monkey today. Here it is in all its glory. Honestly, this thing is so much fun to ride. It is honestly, it's amazing. It's definitely smiles per gallon. It's such a great little bike. So Becca's done a few upgrades, like the horn cover. It's got a banana on the front and a monkey on the side. And if you come around here, you've got the chain guard, which as you can see says monkey. And for some strange reason, when you get the bike, you've got like these holes in the frame, which are obviously where the seat bolts go. So she's got some bungs made up. She's got a banana this side and a monkey this side. All in all, it's a gorgeous little bike and lots of fun to ride. Anyways, enough chatting shit. Let's actually go for a ride. Are you guys ready to hear the raw power? Oh yeah, raw power, baby. Wait for this, what was that, a Scooby-Doo van? It's the mystery wagon, or the mystery van they used to call it, didn't they? Right, guys, this bike isn't very powerful at all, but it's not about uh, the power. It's just fun. It's just fun to go around the town on. I actually love this bike. It's just easy to throw around, have a good old time on. So, yeah, news. Let's talk about some news. So, obviously, everything's starting to open back up. And we're starting to slowly come out of lockdown and stuff, which is good, which is good, good, good. So we were able to book Becca's CBT. So she is actually booked in for a CBT. Um, and that's gonna be in May. Why have I come this way? Oh my fucking God. Totally wasn't paying attention. Go round the roundabout. Sorry, mate. Guy behind's probably thinking, what the fuck is this fat bastard on this little mini bike doing? Here we go. Now I'm on the right road. Fucking hell. I didn't say I was any good at this, guys, all right? So be fair in the comment section, please. Um, yeah, so Becca's booked her CBT. That's in the middle of May. Uh, so that's pretty cool. They've also said that I am going to be allowed to record it. That's right, baby. I'm going to be allowed to come along. Obviously not get in the way, but I'm allowed to record her doing some, doing some training and stuff. So we'll put that in a vlog slash video or slash motor vlog or whatever. We've also got one of our really good friends uh, coming along. And he's doing his CBT as well. Um, so that would be pretty sweet. So it would be like Becca and a mate. There's two at a time that do it. So that would be, be pretty sweet. And good for Becca as well and for him. Because obviously they've got someone. You know, it's always better when you do it with a mate, isn't it? So let's go right here. Let's go right. Do you know what? I was thinking I should probably plan out routes. That I'm going to do before I do these motor vlogs. Because I literally just get on there and go, right, where am I going? And as you can tell by the last roundabout I was at literally just went the wrong way the sun is shining today but it is still fucking freezing oh my god do not be fooled by the sun obviously you've got the um the typical dickheads that come out fucking shorts flip-flops no t-shirt like mate it's got 10 degrees it's not warm definitely not warm enough to be taking your fucking t-shirt off you dickhead there we go baby raw power none absolutely none so yeah i've got this camera here today i have no idea if this has even got me in shot i mean i framed it and then it moved and i just thought oh do you know what i can't be asked. i know it was getting a nice chunk of my stomach in on view that was good so you can see my massive rotund stomach so i don't even know if this camera is going to make it to the cut we'll see we'll see these handlebars are like there's not much room on them so I didn't really know where to mount the camera, to be honest. But uh, hopefully it's all right. Oh my God, I'm getting a tail of traffic behind me. They're probably thinking, this guy is fucking slow. So the first vlog went up. And you guys seem to like that. So thank you for everybody left like kind words and lovely comments and stuff about it. Glad you enjoyed it. It's always the same when you do something new. You never know how it's going to be taken. Because we've been doing a certain type of video for bloody hell. Fucking hell, my breath is just steaming up. You never realise how bad your breath smells until you wear a helmet and you breathe on your visor when it comes back at you and you're like, oh God, you'll throw up in your own helmet. Well, who else's helmet are you going to throw up in? Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not sitting on my ass now, are you? Raw fucking power, mate. Raw monkey power. Anyway, yeah, so the first vlog went up. You guys left some lovely comments. And said that you enjoyed it and that you'd like to see more hence me doing it again it was nice that you 
you guys gave me some good feedback and um, it was some constructive feedback as well which was also good obviously you had the uh, the odd twat saying uh, this is fucking shit but um, I mean you're going to get that anyway so <laughs> I expected but the good thing is actually I expected more of them than uh, than the lovely comments I'd, um, I'd got so thank you guys you never know how something new is going to be perceived you know like because we've done a certain type of video for whew, what five years now so doing anything new can be really nerve-wracking because you think to yourself well what if people think it's a pile of shit and it absolutely flops and um it didn't absolutely flop oh look beer garden oh man oh jesus this fucking this road is so bumpy do you know i love this bike right but the suspension on it is so shit like even people that aren't morbidly obese like myself um <laughs> they complain that the suspension's really crap i wanted to take this monkey off roading i said to becca i like dropped i dropped the idea of going off roading on it into a conversation and she was like before i could even finish saying what i was saying she was like no no i was like oh for god's sake so um i might just have to buy a monkey myself what do you reckon you guys leave a comment do you reckon i should just get a monkey in and just go off-roading on it <laughs> i'm sure becca would be happy with another bike in the living room <laughs> the living room looks like a flipping showroom it's so funny well i think it's funny I'd, in fact i like it i like looking at it sitting there watching tv glance over at my babies becca fucking hates it apparently the living room smells of petrol it doesn't smell of petrol at all she's just complaining anything just to try and get the bikes out of the living room I mean, what do we want the living room for anyway i mean fucking hell what, what, what else do you do in the living room like well we've got a couch in there we've got two couches in there granted we can't have it a corner couch anymore because the bike's in the way but we still got two couches so we've got a place to sit down what else what else do you want it for we've got a tv in there what what else do you want there's a space for the dog there we go it's just a waste of space not having the bikes in there we just do you know what i mean that's my thinking anyway but oh no becca becca the mood hoover becca the fun sponge oh look someone's having a good time let's just suck the fun right out of that fun gone <laughs> this is where the monkey really falls down right this row is a 60. i don't know if you can see the speedo but i got 55 out of it the other day 45 46 come on baby 47 50 come on no more gears left only four we've been in there already 55 oh no not 55 at all now we're on 55 oh yeah baby come on monkey let's do the speed limit let's get that speed limit let's tuck a little bit what we got 57 come on monkey 57 and the roundabout's approaching ah oh, jesus 57 well we nearly got the speed limit <laughs> man i really do hate the english weather it is so shit i'm imagining you guys are going to be thinking ah oh, look how sunny it was what a lovely day for a ride no it's fucking freezing and there seems to be some sort of opening in my glove i don't know if i've not sealed it properly or what but um i've literally got a chill in my glove and it's going all the way up into my arm so that like basically the left side of me is fucking freezing great oh god I literally cannot multitask for shit oh well shouldn't moan at least it's not raining yet <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna wrap this up because i'm starving so do you know what i'm gonna go and have dinner i did this at completely the wrong time so oh well it's another thing i'm learning right learning as i'm going never said i was going to be the world's greatest motor vlogger well i hope you're all good hope you enjoyed this one and uh, hopefully these will be more professional at some point i might even know what i'm saying and where i'm going on the next one you never know leave us a comment leave us a thumbs up and uh remember you can't please everybody in fact you can't even please most people so you might as well just please yourself <laughs> see you later guys